So we're taking a breathe uh, from our uploading schedule to bring you the November 2023 sort of lap of New King Buffett. So we've got four of the fairs um, with remaining videos we have done. Um, next up is just one of them. Uh, we have quite a handful to get through. Um, also, we won't actually be able to make it to Loughborough Fair this year. Um, our reasons why will be when we wrap up this instalment. Anyway, until then, let's see what's been happening last month for UK fun fairs. <laughs> So hello and welcome to the October 2023 instalment of Last Month of the UK Fun Fairs. I might have said uh, November earlier on, but we are in November and November is the month where we release the October instalment anyway. Um, so this this month that we're now in pretty much concludes the back end fairs. Um, Loughborough was the one we really wanted to go to, but again, unfortunately, we can't um, due to circumstances beyond our control. But uh, anyway, uh, so going to make this a bit of a quick one. Um, we won't actually be covering any events because we didn't feel there was anything worth covering on and uh, nothing really popped along up or nothing popped up in our um, socials timelines or any news that came into light uh, that we felt was worth reporting but we should have some stuff hopefully in uh, November's instalments. Anyway, so skipping events, let's take a look at some new rides coming to the UK Funfair scene. PWS rides have shown off their first sizzler to contain an RGB light package since October 2020. This one called Twist It, is believed to be for John Sull contains a hydraulic drive and some unique spotlighting on the cars. PWS would also go on to show progress on another sizzler with single color cap lighting sharing the same color scheme as Roland's King Sizzler from August 2022. It is currently unconfirmed who this machine is for, but we look forward to seeing the finished result. The lastest Miami has been completed by Harry Steer Engineering. This one called Velocity was built brand new for Louise Bose who is the partner of Tom Smith and made its first ever outing at Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. A Van Der Beek Star Flyer has been imported to the UK. This one called Sky Dance has been purchased from the Nulkan family in Germany by Stefan Kubbins, Nathan and Reed Holland and Nathan Smith who will travel with the ride under the company CHS Attractions. David Taylor has taken delivery of a brand new outwards facing confolding group Extreme named Joker. This uniquely colored this uniquely colored machine that was parked up at Hull Fair later went on to debut in the parish of Mariport in Cumbria. And now on to some ride changes that have happened during the UK Funfest scene. Derek Hackett has sold his Zlerator PWS project to Anthony Wilkinson. The ride which is only ride of its kind in the world should be debuting around bonfire night with the new owner currently looking for a first ground. Wishing Anthony the very best of luck with this one of a kind machine. Carter's Steam Fair have sold their Hayes Fabrications Octopus to Grant Ellis. This is one of the many chapters that follow after the firm's decisions to end their tour last year. We wish Grant all the best and can't wait to see what he does with this ride. Charles Church has sold his Terminator 3 Sabima Matterhorn to Harrison Rogers after less than a year of ownership. The ride first opened with Harrison at the town of Chard in Somerset. George Devy Jr. has sold his ex Dantea Maxwell Waltzer to Patrick Christian. The ride is scheduled to debut with the new owner with Smith's Fun Fair on Quex Park of Birchington in Kent on November 4th for Bonfire Weekend. This follows after George took over ownership of the Accelerate Fair Trade Waltzer from James Cole. Connor Cowie has sold his Starflyer AK Rides Swing Tower to Charles Appleton of Hunston's Rainbow Park. The ride was being prepared for build-up at the park during the October half-term holidays but is yet to open to the public. So that's it for the October 2023 instalment of last month for UK Fun Fairs. Now, um, next up for the remainder of the month will be the remaining videos from Nottingham Goose Fair. And we've got 20 videos left from this year's Nottingham Goose Fair. Um, which, so in total we ended up getting 36 videos, which is the most we've ever ended up getting at that fair. So these videos are actually going to be released daily um, instead of two videos per day. So it kind of spreads them out 
a lot more and so it allows us more time to get to some of the winter events that will be popping up so just before the month ends we do plan on we do have some winter events we do have our own but Hyde Park Winter Waterland definitely isn't one of them because we might cover that either in next month's episode or it may be in a separate video to elaborate on details of why we are choosing not to support some of the decisions that the events organisers has made. Uh, anyway, going back to Loughborough, we really wanted to go to Loughborough this year. Um, having gone in 2021 for the first time, we loved it there. Um, but because of clashes with work commitments and as well as not being able to cover uh, hotel costs, as well as a clash with events this weekend outside of fairs, we are unfortunately not able to make it to Loughborough Fair this year. Um, we're going to try and plan ahead next year. Uh, we're definitely planning ahead for the hoppings because uh, we want to get back to there again for 2024. So hopefully we'll, we'll be doing the same for Loughborough next year. Uh, but until then, thank you so much for watching and until the next video, see you later.